Ten seconds remaining. Dyer's bottom tower is under Is that attack. almost worth it? Um, Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. I don't know. I think the... Well, he's definitely... I, I wouldn't say get Axe first, right? He's gonna get... What's that? That's the blink on bad. You were talking about Necrophos, right? Yep. Yeah, so... But this is also assuming that the Shadow Fiend's gonna be building the mech instead. Yeah, I... I think Silas needs some form of... Yeah, goodbye. It's gonna be easier for Shaker to like the fissures than the to the shape. It is fine time. Uh -oh. Jump off by burning. Clap, split. Sila gonna get controlled. Sonic Wave hits hard on the three players from LGD. The buyback came instantly out from the Necros. He wants to come back into this fight. Yao, now gonna be set up by that Earth ruling. More support arriving from Luo. A double kill for Ferrari. He wants to back up until this malediction has, has run its course. Now the Lichotti also comes in for free. Bouncing up to Sila. He's gonna creep right next to him. He's gonna isolate him more. It's a dive back for LGD. Xiao Wei back in range of the tower. Ferrari will kill him off. There's a DD for the entire time. An ultra kill for Ferrari. Even then, he's still going to be a little bit in trouble. Bristleback, lots of physical damage. There's Sonic Wave that goes through it. And even Bruce Split can actually, at this stage in the game, as decent as BKB Pike, you still deal some pretty good damage. Oh, Silent Naughty. Oh. Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a Necrophos there, that blood pool. Oh, yeah. was this was this next level bait? Was this here's a whole bunch of money come and farm it? <laughs> I actually think he farmed the majority of the ancients. Oh my god, triple collapse from burning. Yep, and then into the split too. The sonic wave from Ferrari again hitting so hard. Maybe he got orcas up. There's nothing he could do in this fight. No requiems, no razors. MMY is trying to stay alive here, but he's not quite sure if he should turn around because Silas in that world of hurt. He's gonna get frost blasted down as the Queen of Pain who gets the kill while up into the air again. That Brewmaster split from burning. It's worked so much of overtime. Ferrari's now gonna go on Xiao Wei. I almost feel that this game is almost over at the moment with a double kill in for Ferrari. It's an 8-0-3 Queen of Pain. Aggressive ward behind it, take the tower. If potentially they can catch out, uh, in fact they will. Hey, uh, you've got mech, there's uh, no TP, so Silo won't be able to escape the way he did before. So Orchid scream. Worth the Sonic Wave here to ensure the kill, and they're gonna take him as well. <laughs> oh, with a yeah. finger of death as well. <laughs> it's there's been some arguments made as to why it's it, it, ta it takes away from the hype. Sides. For now, we just jump in. Burning, great clap into the split. Yeah, drops like a sack of potatoes. Now, Lich Ultimate, it's carving LGD up. They've just lost three. They're about to lose four. Ferrari's got Scream. Doesn't have his Orchid up and round. In fact, he's just going for the Shadow Strike to slow down Xiaowei. There's the Blink to Scream. There's a double kill for Ferrari. He's 11 0 5 with a f almost 15k net worth 26 minutes in. Is Burning going to jump up? The Observers and Sentries are yeah, down for really LGD. Good position. Uh, with, with the high ground their way, maybe, throws out a raise, which is going to fly to Chuan, but they're up there and he jumps up, gets a stun, it's over with the Batrider with the Fissure, maybe he's going to buy some space, until Burning jumps in with the BKB, Ferrari with the Sonic Wave, they mop up to Batrider ball back and maybe just wind it up and obliterates the lift. Unfortunately, his fun's going to end right there, Ferrari, even with the Malediction on him. There are 10,000 gold ahead, or 1,000 gold ahead from him, pretty much, and... They're bristless, so oh, this believe. is what's gonna happen. They'll pull him in. They drag for Luro. They need to use everything for him. Yep. Has BKB. There's a side. Uh, no, they get the Aegis they down. They got the Aegis uh, down. They used everything. Now they can't fight him. Well, they've they still got Requiem. They've still got Echo Slam. They've still got Death Ward. So, where's that position from Xiao Wei? Throws out the Fissure. Slows down Luo. The mid racks is slowly going down, yes, but you've already burnt the Aegis to the Immortal. You lost your mid racks. But on the bright side, now you can stay inside your base and the creep wave will reach you. The problem is that if, if IG play this right, they just take two lanes. Like, they just go top and do the same. There is no initiation on this bristle. They can't kill him. But the only way they kill him is pulling him into the tier force like that. They can't do that again. So, he's just gonna be the front line doing exactly this. And then all of a sudden... Bingo! SF, he was the only man with a buyback for LGD. Actually, take that back. The Batrider has it as well. Sent up into us the air by the Brewmaster Ultimate. They have to bring down these towers and, and into the racks. They don't always just have to focus on the kills. Get control of the lanes. The Brewmaster Ultimate is being whittled away. They got rid of the fire brilliant, but there's still two more that's causing so many problems. LGD are being held at bay by one Master of Root. Burning, unable to blink himself away. And there's good Echo Slam. They need more control. Requiem from maybe. He combining up with the Death Wall. The Requiem taking way too long to get out there. And the Lich holding most of it's been soaked up by the Dark Green Wave. That's one upside for LGD, but they still haven't killed off Blue Wave. They lose their Shadow Fiend. And that's the die back right there. Silo is just basically gunked up completely by Ferrari, as well as Luo. 
that's going to be GG. IG will be able to advance themselves through. They come through the lower bracket, defeating the team that knocked them down in that winner's bracket semi-final. And they will be the team to go up against VG Gaming in the grand final up next. Do you it's have good it? to see, Any it's good thoughts? to see the composure. It's good to see the composure of IG. VG Gaming, for me, is still the strongest team in China. So going up against them, they will be underdogs and they're going to have to win three games out of four.